Uh, hello, I'm Emily Mims, uh, uh, Burroughs Publishing author, and I'm here today at the birthplace of the Country Museum in Bristol, Tennessee, to talk about my new series, which we're going to call Smoky Blue, and the, specifically the first book in the series called Mist. I started coming to Appalachia in the uh, year 2009 when my son and his family moved here. Uh, I would come for extended periods to, to help with grandkids and just enjoy the region. And it didn't take me long to fall in love with Appalachia. It did not take me long at all. The countryside is absolutely beautiful. Uh, very green, very verdant. The mountains are soft, smoky, misty, beautiful, beautiful countryside. The people are equally beautiful. Everybody calls you honey. They don't know how to be rude. They're just absolutely the most wonderful people in the world. And at the same time I was falling in love with the region and the people, I was falling in love with their music. I've grown up in a, having music in my life all my life, um, played several instruments as a young person, um, listened to a lot of country and western, good old Texas western swing. But when I came up here, I discovered a new form of music that I absolutely loved, the mountain music, uh, bluegrass music. A little different from what we listen to in Texas. A little softer, uh, maybe closer to the, uh, closer to your roots, so to speak, if you want to, if you want to think of it that way. Um, and I started listening to that music. Uh, up here, there's it's it's very very common uh, bluegrass music. Most of the music stores specialize in the instruments that are specific to bluegrass music. I have a few of them here with me today on the wall. Uh, every bluegrass band worth its salt has these four at least. This is a good old fashioned guitar, you know, so a run of the mill. This little eight stringed instrument is a mandolin. It's uh, very high pitched, very little different. Uh, absolute magic in the hands of a skilled musician. I don't think anybody needs to uh, have a fiddle introduced to them. Some of the most wonderful music in the world is fiddle and music. And this is a claw hammered banjo. Now I do not play these three instruments. I play around on a guitar. But these three instruments in the hands of a skilled musician are absolute magic. So when I went to create my magical world, my fictional world in Appalachia, I started with bluegrass, with a bluegrass band, the Barstows, and I started with their mandolin player, Kylie Richards, who is a Barstow, Kylie Barstow Richards. And in Kylie, I think, I hope, I have given her my love of music my love of her music, uh, the, the bluegrass music. Um, I also have Kylie playing an instrument called the dulcimer. Now, I play the dulcimer, and you're probably sitting there wondering, okay, what is a dulcimer? I'm gonna step aside, I'm gonna get it. This is a mountain dulcimer, harp shaped. I picked up my first dulcimer in 2012 in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, down close to the Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, it was demonstrated to me. It's laid out something like a piano. It's a diatonic instrument. It's the only instrument that was ever developed in the United States of America. It's very common in this part of the country in Appalachia. I took it home. I learned to play a bit. 
It took me some doing, but I found a group in San Antonio, a little tiny group, but a very talented group, sat down with them and learned just how little I knew how to play a dulcimer. And I've uh, performed with them ever since. I uh, wanted to show you today a little bit about what a dulcimer does and what it sounds like. These things have to be strapped on. Now, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm not that great. But I can play you a few things, so at least you get an idea of what a dulcimer sounds like. It will play pretty much any kind of music. Start with gospel music. Joe wasn't that great, but it will also play some modern music. This would be uh, 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 Country Roads. Essentially, that's what a dulcimer sounds like. And in the hands of a virtuoso, the little music instrument comes to life. It is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful instrument. And this is the instrument that Kylie plays in her, in her uh, concerts. She is a virtuoso dulcimer player. What? What do you want me to do? Go through what? One more time, the song. Oh, Lord. Uh, Charles, I didn't memorize this thing. Hmm? Try what again? Which part? I don't remember what I said before. No, I, all right, let me think a minute. I don't remember what I said. Just let me sit a minute and think.